Grant Cardone is a best-selling author and sales trainer, best known for his commitment to the 10x rule and unbelievable work ethic. In this video, I want to run through three live sales calls he posted to his YouTube channel and show you how he qualifies deals while selling and how he speed closes the deals. You can use these takeaways to help you close deals faster. I'm Alex Berman from Inspire Beats. Notice in this call how the client opens by saying he wants to place an order and also reveals that he's a huge Grant Cardone fan and then how Grant Cardone uses that to get more money out of him. I'm just calling to place an order. Look who pick up the phone. Dude, Woo! this is your Uncle G, brother. It's your lucky yeah, day, man. my man. Visa, MasterCard, or American <laughs> Express. <laughs> So he says it as a joke, right? Asking Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. But then he actually gets the number from him to open the call. Which one is it? Which one is it, baby? Which one is it? Which one we're using? The Visa, the MasterCard, or the Amex? Visa, Visa. Visa, what's the number? Wait one second. Let's teach the salespeople something, okay? Go straight for the clothes. So he got the number, but what Grant Cardone is teaching right here is he qualified this at the beginning as a super hot deal, right? This guy was ready to buy, so Grant Cardone knew he just had to get the card number. Later on in the call, let's skip a few minutes ahead, and you can see that he starts upselling this guy like a maniac. Do you know that I have 25 hours of webcast? It's $1,400 program. It's on sale for $149. It's a $1,500 program. He originally pitched this $1,500 program for $149 or whatever the price was, and the guy just said, okay, right? He's open to the pitch. But Grant Cardone also realized he wasn't fully qualified. He's not going to buy anything he says. So now Grant has to pitch him a little bit, go through a summary of what the product is. Top sales secrets. I already have that one. Okay, good. I'm going to take that out. Top, top 10X Super Life and the ultimate webinar package. And then after he describes what's in the package, basically this guy keeps buying things the entire video until he maxes out his own credit cards, uh, buying Grant Cardone's stuff. And then Grant Cardone still tries to see how far he can push it and tries to sell him a $25 hat. It's going to bounce like a ball. It, dude, if, <laughs> if I can add the hat and it works, you want to get the hat? No, because I know it's not. What, 264 is what you tapped out at? Huh? 264 is it? Yeah. The hat's only like $25, man. Puts us at $289. You gotta have a hat, bro. How are you gonna walk into the new year? It's just gonna, it's gonna explode. Okay. All right. And Grant knows where to stop. So that was how Grant Cardone closes a super hot deal that's ready to buy now. Let's see how he does on a slightly warmer call. I hope you're taking care. You read all the books to the point that they think. Right. You're you're only strong. closing. You're getting a hundred leads a week, and you're only getting eight, nine sales. Here's Grant taking over a sales call from one of his salespeople. Notice how when he starts closing the guy, he makes him repeat that he wants to buy multiple times before actually confirming. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question now, all right? There's one answer. Yeah or no? Yes or no? You know who this is? So he asks, do you know who this is? Because he knows that people calling into Grant Cardone Industries are more likely to buy when he talks to them as Grant Cardone. But watch how his demeanor changes when the guy on the call didn't immediately recognize him as Grant Cardone. It don't matter who it is, yes or no. That is the first question. Yes or no. Hey, Nick, if $100 is the decision maker, don't do it. From that pause, Grant Cardone could sense that that customer didn't know that it was him that he was talking to. So then he started using some other sales tactics, a little bit of reverse psychology to get over uh, the hump and also start negotiating with the client. Hey, how are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? So he got an all right. Then he said, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? And he gets another yes right here. So let's do it. You just get My it. man. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, Nick. Yeah, Thank you for doing business with Grant Cardone Enterprises. Yeah. We're going to take care of you. I'm going to make you a million dollars with Cardone University, um, all right? Well. And then he gets them. I was hoping you'd tell me a little bit. And tell Todd, tell Todd, tell Todd he was too weak to shut you down, all right? 
what, uh, what, what Thank you for your business. Get his and Grant loves the credit card. But, uh, what, what Thank you for your business. Get his credit card right now. All right, hey. One last video I wanted to show you just to highlight how Grant confirms the yes multiple times. That wasn't just a fluke. He does it on almost all of his calls. And I think it's to increase customer buy-in and reduce the refund rate. Look, Carlos, no, tell, if, 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 tell, him, if, tell him to fax me a contract. Jesus Christ. Grant Cardone kept talking. The customer had to interrupt him in order to buy. Uh, he stopped him the first time. He stopped him the second time until that customer was so ready to buy that he just had to ask Grant for the contract. It's an interesting skill to use and something to test in your own sales calls. See how far you can push these clients, how committed you can get them before they ever sign anything. I'm Alex Berman from Inspire Beats. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to give this a like if you want more videos like this. Subscribe for more videos on B2B selling and sales breakdowns like this one on this channel. Also, if you want leads for your B2B company or agency, check out inspirebeats.com. Two videos to check out next. One is three branding lessons from the guy who built Caesar's Palace from the ground up. A uh, good story of an entrepreneur and how he built this hotel basically from nothing and invented the themed hotel in Las Vegas. Pretty cool video. The other one is way more tactical. Four ways to shorten your sales calls. It's all of the tips that I have, uh, after shortening our sales cycle down from a three month close to a 20 minute close uh, for our company Inspire Beats. So check that video out if you wanna learn how to shorten your sales cycle too. I'm Alex Berman, thanks for watching and subscribe to this video for more. I'll talk to you later.